He who has a why to live for can bear almost any how. And that is the thought for today. Welcome to 7 Good Minutes. I'm Clyde Lee Dennis. Thanks for joining me for what I believe will be seven of the most enriching minutes of your day. Today, we have an inspiring audio clip from our friends at Motiversity that I hope will motivate you to figure out what it is you want to go for in your life and, more importantly, why you want to go for it. Enjoy. Very, very few people and very, very few organizations can clearly state why they do what they do. And by why, I don't mean to make money. That's a result. By why, I mean what's your purpose, what's your cause, what's your belief. Why does your company exist? Why did you get out of bed this morning? And why should anyone care? What is your why? Why did you even get out of the bed this morning? What's your why? Why do you want to do it? What is your gift? Are you an artist? Are you the talent that can produce something no one else produces as a skill or a product or a service or some impact? The life is worth living when you find purpose. And you may even think you know who you are because you've been living a certain way, but I'll tell you how you'll know. You'll feel euphoric. You'll feel strong. You'll feel unlimited. You'll feel free. And most people, they're stating what they hope will come together And if it doesn't happen, then they're disappointed, but they're not too disappointed because they're not too vested. I'm suggesting that you set aside time every day if you're not doing it already. Reading 10 to 15 pages of something positive every day, listening to audio programs, investing in yourself to expand your mind for what it's possible. See, again, the secret's going to be this. What is an extraordinary life on your terms today? Getting clear about that. At this stage of life, where you are, where you want to go. It's about how can I find the gift I have to give the world? And how can I give it in a way that truly adds value? Not, I think adds value, but the people receiving it, they vote with their feet and say, this truly makes a difference in my life. What I'm suggesting that you operate out of a larger vision of yourself. I want you to see yourself doing what you want to do, experiencing what you want to experience it. Having what you want to have, doing what it is that gives your life some meaning and value. Most people are not really entrepreneurs, but they think that's what they should be. They think that's the sexy thing, that's the most attractive thing, that's the best answer. And what I say to you is, you gotta separate the vehicle from the outcome. What is it that's gonna truly fulfill you? What is it that's gonna give you that extraordinary life? What's going to make things magnificent on your terms, not somebody else's terms, not your father, your mother, your background? What is that really? Separate the vehicle, because there's many ways to get that vehicle. The most important element is for you to be able to do this, to be able to establish, most importantly, where you really are in your life today. Where are you? And where do you really want to go? What's going to create this extraordinary life? Because some of you right now, if you continue the direction you're going, are going to be successful and unfulfilled, unhappy, and stressed. The first step is you got to have a vision. A vision for what it is you really, truly want. A vision is about what you're here to create. A vision that really works is one that excites you. If you say, well, my, you know, my resolution, my goal, my outcome for this month, this week, this year is to lose X number of pounds, that's okay, but it's not very compelling. It has to be a compelling vision. It's got to have something that has the power to pull you, not something you have to push yourself to do. Those are two different kinds of motivation. Push requires willpower, and willpower never lasts. What will last is pull. Having something so exciting, so attractive, so something you desire so much that you have a hard time going to sleep at night and you get so up early in the morning to a rocket and take it to the next level. You have greatness within you. You have the ability to do more than you can ever begin to imagine. And so what I'm suggesting that you do is to stretch yourself. That you constantly look for ways as an entrepreneur, how can you begin to set yourself apart from the competition? What is it that you can do that can make you stand out? Are you incredibly good at management? You really know how to manage or lead people. 
Are you an extraordinary entrepreneur that has, can take that gigantic gut load of risk and can create the vision and attract the talent that you need and the managers and leaders? You may have all three abilities, but which one really fulfills you the most? That you've got to find something that you love and that you master that. Henry David Thoreau said, do not go where the path may lead, but go where there's no path and leave a trail. My mom wanted me to be a truck driver because <laughs> that would mean I'd make $24,000 a year if I went to truck masters. And that would be twice what my father made. And she thought that would happen. But something inside of me said, I don't want to drive a truck. There's something else that matters more to me. And I decided I was not going to go for money instead of passion. And uh, the rewards have been pretty amazingly better than being a truck driver. It's not bad being a truck driver. It's just not what I was after. And I, I look back, and one of the things that helped me was my original teacher, Jim Rohn, who's a personal development speaker I went to hear when I was 17. He said something the first time I heard him, and he said, you know, it's really simple. If you want life to change, you got to change. If you want life to be better, you've got to get better. It's the only way it happens. And luck will show up for people and it'll leave them. But if you're constantly improving who you are and what you give, game over. That does it for today's episode of 7 Good Minutes. Please take a moment to rate and review the show on Apple Podcasts. If you have questions, you can ask those by going to 7goodminutes.com slash askclyde or get me on Twitter at Clyde Lee Dennis. Until next time, let's be civil to one another out there. Thanks for listening.